morning. I think you won't regret it, especially if you've been wanting to explore some new breakfast food. I got you. How about trying a unique style of breakfast sandwich? There's a place in town that's offering just that, but with a Korean and Texan twist. We appreciate it. Please welcome Mike Nguyen with Brekkie Sandwich. This looks absolutely incredibly fluffy, delicious, amazing. Exactly how people should start their mornings, right? Exactly, exactly. So what is the inspiration behind Brekkie Sandwich? It's a Korean street food. You know, um, I love breakfast food. Who doesn't, right? And the, what I've noticed is their, their soft, fluffy egg. That's like the best way to have it. And that's kind of the inspiration about this. We also put a little Texas twist to it because we are in Texas. And um, yeah. It looks absolutely so mouth-watering. So you say the egg fluffy is the key. I am a, a scrambled egg. I don't want to say master, but I make them a lot. What is what is the key to that fluff? The key to fluff is almost like cooking a French style omelet, right? Okay. So it's low heat uh, and then constantly cooking it slowly. Okay. okay so you're going to show us right now? Yes. All so right. Gonna, so we have the low heat. The so low sorry. heat. No, it's okay. <laughs> okay. And then we add some butter in there. Ooh, okay. so butter. I use olive oil sometimes as well, but butter is the way to go. Butter is the way to go, Ooh. especially in the morning. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. We're going to let that melt a little bit. I'm going to open this for you? Yeah, absolutely. All right. And so Mike, you're also known for Noodle Tree, which is, was an amazing establishment of all your recipes that got so much attention. Yes. So when I decided that um, I wanted to bring something new, new concept, be innovative. I didn't want to be complacent as a chef. So for me, it's like, I'm going to dive into something else. And like I said, I have a passion for breakfast food. So I was like, you know what? let's bring that to the table. But you know what's crazy? You have a passion for, honestly, your, your dishes are all so tasty. That I think your, your flavor profile is just on point and you do it with a lot of love. So it all comes out good, to yep. be honest. You can go and pour that in. Okay, so in. all, uh, not all of it, obviously, just, but tell I'll me. I'll tell you when to stop. And keep going because we're gonna do the birds up. That's good. All right. Okay. And now we're just gonna constantly stir. All right. Okay. And did you put what else do you put in your egg batter mix? So we do put a little bit of heavy cream in there and oh. just egg. That's it. Okay, but that helps with the fluff for sure. That the helps with the fluff. The biggest other thing is we do not salt our eggs. Okay. okay. The reason why is salt will extract. Um, li uh, liquid out, and what it does two things, it'll draw your egg, and it'll make your bread soggy. So when you put the egg inside the okay. bread, uh -huh. it's gonna leak out and make your bread soggy. So we don't want that. These are great tips that I can't wait to do, especially the heavy cream that I didn't realize you could put in the egg batter. Okay. That is awesome. So then do you add salt after? We do not. So we do have our house-made brekkie sauce. Uh-huh. It's so delicious, right? All right. Okay. And uh, that brekkie sauce is kind of San Antonio-inspired. Sure. Okay, it's a salsa verde but it has a very, very big bold on flavor on that. I saw, I mean, I feel like that's a San Antonio in a sandwich for sure, what you're doing Correct. there. So now we're gonna put on the bread, okay? We okay. got a nice thick, it's about an inch and a quarter um, Texas toast okay. on here. It's a brioche bun, mm. so it's gonna be really buttery, really soft inside, so we'll have a nice, good sear on the outside and soften the inside. Is that sausage patty or is that burger patty? That's gonna be sausage patty Ooh, there. Okay, man, so we're gonna start with some pork so, sausage so here. Good. So is this traditional to Korea? Is this how some people eat their breakfast, or is this just your flair? So this is definitely uh, heavily inspired by Korea. They, this is exactly how they do their eggs, um, kind of exactly the same size okay. as the bread itself. Wow. Well, it definitely is something new. You know, you're bringing to San Antonio, which is really neat. Whereabouts can people come and get these, and is it open every morning? So, yeah, we're open every morning um, from 8 to 3, and we're off UTSA Boulevard, right across from campus. Oh, perfect. So, Those students, college students, need to get out there and get their brekkie on and their families as well. Okay, I'm still watching. This egg process is, you've got the rhythm. Yes. So, the, the constant thing is keep stirring. Do okay. not let it settle. Okay. okay. If you let it settle, it will overcook on you. You don't want that. That's so. so, thank you, Chef. I'm learning so much from you in such short amount of time. This looks so good. And so you were saying you have the one with the chile verde. You have, tell me the names of the ones that we're seeing here. So right here, we have the brekkie. Okay, that's like your basic egg, bacon, egg, and cheese. Okay. Then we have the mongi. Okay. Okay, it's a uh, bacon, I'm sorry, that's that's the bacon, egg, and cheese. This okay. is egg and cheese. Okay. Okay, we have our chump, spicy chump tots. Oh my gosh, okay. okay. That has our egg in it, tater tots, our brekkie sauce, and our spicy. Wow, okay. Then we have our sausage. Okay. And then we have our Delilah Sky. Wow, right? Which is that's the one. That's the San one. San Antonio in a sandwich is what that's I called it. That's the one, yes. Well, thank you so much for being with us today, Chef. I know we were gonna assemble the sandwich, but that's okay, because you know what? Paul already got a taste 
of what you make, and I know he's super jealous over there. But you know, if you give me a good weather report, Paul, uh -huh. maybe Mike and I will share. Well, I've only got one thing to say. Get your brekkie on. Hey. Get your brekkie on. Oh, Get your okay. bre I, I, save one for me, because I right. really <laughs> it looks pretty good. Looks all right, it all depends great. on what you say about the rest of the week, though. Okay. All well, right. hopefully you like it.